Welcome back. Mike Dodderer here at the uh, 33rd annual NFL Alumni Charity Golf Tournament. And I'm here with one of the top doctors here in Northern California, Dr. Neil Berger. And Dr. Berger, I want to thank you so much for your support through um, SOAR, where you uh, are currently working, and uh, the, the orthopedic surgeons that support the Ariana Healthcare Foundation. And why don't you just tell everyone a little bit about you and your background and how you got into orthopedic uh, medicine and, and your um, a vision and passion for for helping patients and also getting involved in with the NFL alumni. All right, Mike. Thanks for having me. First, um, I uh, joined SOAR after doing a fellowship at SOAR in sports medicine under Dr. Dillingham, the longtime uh, 49ers team doctor. Uh, I trained before that at UCLA. Uh, I did an orthopedic surgery residency there. Um, I now am on staff at SOAR where I do both sports medicine and joint replacement surgery, replacing knees, hips, and shoulders. I'm just getting involved with the Ariana Foundation and I uh, look forward to taking care of some patients who need surgery and um, can't afford it. And fortunately, there's something like Ariana out there to help them um, get their care. And Dr. Berger, tell us a little bit about what, what is your fo specialty? What, what, what do you focus on as far as your orthopedic work? So um, I focus on sports medicine, which is arthroscopic surgery of the knees and shoulders. Um, predominantly, uh, the most common surgeries for sports medicine surgery are ACL reconstruction, anterior cruciate ligament reconstruction, knee arthroscopy and meniscectomies and surgeries like that. I also do surgery on the shoulder. The common uh, shoulder procedures would be an anterior shoulder stabilization for someone who's recurrently dislocated their shoulder, common injury in football. Um, also in the older patients in the 50 to 70 age group, uh, rotator cuff tears are a big problem and that's a, a common surgery that I do uh, in the shoulder. Uh, I also had extensive training in joint replacement at, at UCLA and I'm gonna to continue to do joint replacement here at SOAR, and that's simply a total knee replacement and unicompartmental knee replacement, and then in terms of hip replacement, I actually I do a, my total hip through an anterior approach, which is the new, more cutting edge way of doing uh, hip replacement surgery. The early data shows that it, 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 may, it, it has better outcomes early than posterior total hip arthroplasty. And Doc, you know, one of the amazing things is how technology has changed. When I when I played with the Raiders, this was, you know, many years ago, I tore my anterior cruciate ligament. And back then, you know, they didn't have the technology that they have today. Tell us a little bit about um, how uh, technology has changed and it's improved, and, and especially for former players who, and the reason I, I mention this is when in order to play the game of football, American football, you have to have kind of a, menta a warrior mentality so that you 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 want to um, uh, you know as far as pain you have a high tolerance of pain and why don't you just share with the audience uh, how amazing the technology is I mean someone that would come into your office in a wheelchair and you do the direct anterior approach on the hip and the next day they can be walking out of the hospital how does that happen right right so I guess I'll start with what you brought up last you know total hip arthroplasty or hip replacement surgery is one of the best surgeries that we have in all of orthopedics. Um, over time, the implants themselves have gotten better and the bearing surfaces have gotten better, uh, leading to longevity. So the surgery can last someone for 20 to 30 to year, years to their lifetime. Um, in terms of hip replacement, it's actually quite amazing that someone can have a hip and say, you know, I feel like I have the hip I had when I was 20 years old. So that's an amazing surgery from that perspective. And the improvements in technology have been implant design and quality of the, of the constructs that we use. As it relates to anterior cruciate ligament reconstruction, what's different from when you had surgery and today is that there have been thousands, hundreds of thousands, um, probably millions, honestly, since you last played, right. um, of anterior cruciate ligament reconstructions. And research has been done to fine tune that surgery so that the outcomes are the best. And we know what types of grafts to use and what type of um, interference screws. That's how we fix the grafts. So I'd say that's how it's improved there. Uh, in terms of shoulder surgery and rotator cuff surgery, um, shoulder arthroscopy has come a long way. It used to be that when someone had a rotator cuff repair, they had a big open procedure. 
and really other procedures of the shoulder were open procedures, meaning that we had to make a big incision and expose the shoulder, and that led to problems such as stiffness and um, other other issues. And now a, a rotator cuff repair is done through three small incisions, um, and it leads to a much better early recovery. And more importantly, as it relates to football, a lot of the guys that you played with dislocated their shoulders. It's a very um, uh, high velocity game, football, and you and uh, shoulder dislocation is a big problem nowadays. That big open surgery that we that would have been done is now done arthroscopically to stabilize that shoulder and get an athlete back to playing. Well, thank you, Dr. Berger, for yeah. all your support. And we're, we're looking forward to a long-standing relationship with you and working closely. And again, thanks for, yeah. for being out here uh, and supporting our Caring for Kids and uh, the Ariana Healthcare Foundation. Yeah. Thanks for making me a part of it. Thank yeah, you. That's great. Thank you, Doc. Thanks.